Hello, <clears throat> I'm Dr. Matthew Sim. How are you feeling today? Um, I hope you're feeling fruitful. Uh, if you're feeling sad, go out and take a game. Uh, maybe take a sport. Maybe go cycling. It doesn't have to be competitive. Just ride around the park. Go out in the sun. Mm, if you have time also, you may like to do a degree. Uh, I studied at... Uh, at the National University of Singapore, at the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia, and the University of South Australia in uh, in Australia, in Adelaide, Australia. They are all fine, excellent universities. Uh, you you don't have to pick all these universities. You can pick your own. There are great universities in the US, UK. All right, so. For me, the NUS, the University of NUS, is just like the Harvard of Singapore. Uh, the University of Queensland, it's uh, what you call uh, one of the eight sandstone universities, very good. And the University of South Australia is a young university, but very up and coming, very dynamic. Yipisaye. Okay, today I'd like to talk about inflation and investments. You know, many people say that they don't like to invest because... Uh, uh, or they don't like to save, right? Because they say that whatever you save, inflation will eat it up, right? Uh, in a way, it's true, but uh, it's better to have uh, money that is not as valuable when you retire than to have no money at all. Right? So it's important to save. So how do you retain that uh, value of the money? Now the the best alternative will be to invest the um, money. It means you you save the money first, so that uh, and then after that, in order to fight against inflation, it, you put it in an asset that uh, at least keeps out inflation. The most simplest asset is of course stocks and bonds, um, and if you can afford it, buy a property, right? So these are the things you look at. I'll see you next time. Boom.